what is an ECU? The use of the term ECU may be used to refer to an engine control unit. However, ECU also refers to an electronic control unit, which is a component of any automotive mechatronic system, not just for the control of an engine. In the automotive industry, the term ECU often refers to an engine control unit or an engine control module, ECM. If this unit controls both an engine and transmission, it's often described as powertrain control module. For the purposes of this lecture, we will discuss the ECU as an engine control unit. What does an ECU do? Fundamentally, the engine ECU controls the injection of the fuel and in petrol engines, the timing of the spark to ignite it. It determines the position of the engine's internals using a crankshaft position sensor so that the injectors and ignition system are activated at precisely the correct time. While this sounds like something that can be done mechanically and was in the past, there's no a bit more or to do that. So an internal combustion engine is essentially a big air pump that powers itself using fuel. As the air is sucked in, enough fuel has to be provided to create power to sustain the engine's operation while having a useful amount of leftover to propel the car when required. This combination of air and fuel is called mixture. Too much mixture and the engine will be full throttle, too little and the engine will not be able to power itself or the car. Not only is the amount of mixture important, but the ratio of that mixture has to be correct. Too much fuel, too little oxygen, and the combustion is dirty and wasteful. Too little fuel, too much, much oxygen makes the combustion slow and weak. Engines used to have this mixture quantity and ratio controlled by an entirely mechanical metering device called a carburetor, which was little more than a collection of fixed diameter holes, jets, throughout which the engine sucked the fuel. With the demands of the modern vehicles focusing on fuel efficiency and lower emissions, the mixture must be more tightly controlled. The only way to meet these strict requirements is to hand over control of the engine to an ECU, the engine control unit. The ECU has the job of controlling the fuel injection, ignition and slurries of the engine using digitally stored equations and numeric tables rather than by analog means. Precise fuel management. An ECU has to deal with many variables when deciding the correct mixture ratio. Engine demand, engine coolant temperature, air temperature, fuel temperature, fuel quality, varying filter restriction, air pressure, engine pumping efficiency. These require a number of sensors to measure, measure such variables and apply them to logic in programming of the ECU to determine how to correctly compensate for them. An increase in engine demands such as accelerating will require an increase in the overall quantity of the mixture. Because of the combustion characteristics of the fuel in use, it also requires a change in the ratio of this mixture. When you press the accelerator pedal, your throttle flap will open to allow more air into the engine. The increase in airflow to the engine is measured by the mass airflow sensor, MAF. So the ECU can change the amount of the fuel that's injected, keeping the mixture ratio within limits. 
It doesn't stop there. For best power levels and safe combustion, the ECU must change the ratio of the mixture and inject more fuel under full throttle than it will during cruising. This is called a rich mixture. Conversely, a fueling strategy or a fault that results in less than a normal quantity of fuel being injected will result in lean mixture. In addition to calculating the fuel based on driver demand, temperature has a considerable part to play in the equations used. Since the petrol is injected is liquid, evaporation has to occur before it will combust. In a hot engine, this is easy to manage. But in a cold engine, the liquid is less likely to vaporize and more fuel must be injected to keep the mixture ratio within the correct range for combustion.